Cyberpunk 2077 just had new information leaked, and some of the files that have been discovered point towards a second planned DLC set on the moon. There has also been some news about their new Boston studio who is making the Cyberpunk sequel, news about new game plus mode in Cyberpunk 2077, and if there's any future updates coming to the game. Before we get into it, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Cyberpunk news. Many of us remember when Cyberpunk 2077 launched back in 2020 and the state that it was in at that time, and describing it as a buggy mess is probably the nicest thing I could say about this game's release. Even with all the bugs and issues that Cyberpunk 2077 had, I still love the story, characters, and the world that CD Projekt Red had built in the Cyberpunk universe, and I knew that with some time and some substantial fixes, this game could be amazing. Now, just over three years after the game's original release date, it has received several different updates and the release of its first and only major expansion, Phantom Liberty. The Phantom Liberty expansion for Cyberpunk 2077 released in September of 2023, and it quickly became renowned as one of the greatest game expansions ever created and for sure was up there with the likes of the Blood and Wine DLC for The Witcher 3. This release of the Phantom Liberty expansion marked the advent of a new era for Cyberpunk 2077, and this was further emphasized by the free Cyberpunk 2.0 update that was released for free alongside the Phantom Liberty expansion. This new update and expansion to Cyberpunk 2077 represented a significant turning point for the game, with CD Projekt Red confirming that this version was the pinnacle of what Cyberpunk 2077 could achieve. With all the work that was put into the game to fix it, and the amazing story in the Phantom Liberty DLC, this game has become one of my favorite games of all time, and some people would even consider it one of the best open world games of all time. But the rocky release that Cyberpunk 2077 had, and the years of updates and bug fixes meant that CD Projekt Red only planned to release Phantom Liberty as their only piece of DLC content for this game. At least, that's what we thought originally. Recently, new information has been leaked online showing details of a cancelled DLC for Cyberpunk 2077, and this one was going to be set on the moon, a setting that is familiar with fans of the Cyberpunk Edgerunners anime series on Netflix. The images that were leaked online for this alleged moon DLC for Cyberpunk 2077 was some concept art, blueprints, file repositories, and some map data that might have been for the game's first planned content outside of the familiar Night City. In the Cyberpunk lore, the moon has been settled by around 58,000 people, and operations have been set up around the rocky surface by the corporations who have claimed ownership of these sites. Of course, the usual suspects in the cyberpunk universe show up here, with corporations like Arasaka and Militech setting up operations on the moon's surface to mine for resources. We don't know the extent of the planned DLC on the moon, but we would have to imagine that it would involve run-ins with these corporations since those are some major themes and they run deep in the main story of Cyberpunk 2077. These leaked images that were posted online have since been removed, so I'm not going to be able to show any of these images in this video unfortunately for copyright reasons but the images that were shown included a map of the moon's surface and would have probably been the playable area in this second DLC. These images also included different concept images for different locations that could have appeared in the DLC and other set pieces that CDPR allegedly made for the moon expansion. The rumor around this DLC is that the moon was meant to be an explorable area in Cyberpunk 2077's base game, but was later scrapped and planned for this DLC that was ultimately cancelled. I would imagine that CDPR is currently happy with the state that Cyberpunk 2077 is in, post-release of the Phantom Liberty expansion of course, and with their future games being on Unreal Engine 5, I'm sure they are eager to move all of their work onto the new projects. One of these new projects being developed at CD Projekt is currently codenamed Project Orion, and this is the planned sequel to Cyberpunk 2077. This game is on Unreal Engine 5 and is currently in development at CDPR alongside their next release which is Project Polaris, and this is The Witcher 4. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this leaked Moon DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. CD Projekt Red has announced that its new Boston studio will be heavily involved in the development of the sequel to Cyberpunk 2077 which is currently codenamed Project Orion. This move is set to ensure that Cyberpunk 2 will have a more authentically American feel, addressing some of the immersion issues noted in the first game. CDPR recognizes that the essence of the Cyberpunk universe is deeply rooted in the American culture. Dan Hernberg, acting executive producer, emphasized in the latest episode of the studio's Answer Red podcast that the cyberpunk narrative originally written by an American naturally fits best within an American context. The associate game director on Cyberpunk 2077 highlighted specific instances where the game fell short of American authenticity. 
One notable example was the manhole covers in the game, which resembled those used in Europe, particularly Germany, rather than typical American designs. This seemingly minor detail was enough to break immersion for some players, demonstrating the importance of geographic and cultural accuracy in game design. The development of Project Orion will be led by CDPR's North American arm, with significant contributions from the Boston and Vancouver studios. This strategic positioning for the studio is expected to infuse the game with genuine American cultural elements, from infrastructure details to urban design. Hernberg also noted that differences such as curb designs, sign colors, the placement of everyday objects like trash bins, also contribute to the overall authenticity of the game's setting. Earlier in 2024, CD Projekt Red also announced the addition of several veteran developers to the Cyberpunk 2077 sequels team, including Dan Hernberg who has an impressive background from Amazon Games, Panic Button, and Blizzard Entertainment. Core team members from the original Cyberpunk 2077 and its expansion's development teams have also relocated to North America to spearhead the new project, ensuring continuity and leveraging their experience to deliver a refined project. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the steps CDPR is taking in the development of Cyberpunk sequel Project Orion. Cyberpunk 2077 has never received a New Game Plus mode to this day, a feature that many fans have long hoped for. Despite numerous updates and expansions to the game since its release, the game remains without this option. Here's why CD Projekt Red has deemed that a New Game Plus mode is impractical for Cyberpunk 2077, and it was explained by the game's quest director and its sequel's associate game director, Powell Sasko. They've explained in an interview with DualShockers that the intricate construction of Cyberpunk 2077 makes implementing a New Game Plus mode incredibly challenging for the development team. In the interview, they said, For us, it's really important that when you have components in a game, they all work together and they all work well, and they all make sense, Sasko said. He emphasized that the game's specific design and structure do not easily accommodate the typical New Game Plus mechanics. The primary issue lies in maintaining the balance and coherence of the game's systems. Sasko noted that adding a New Game Plus mode could potentially disrupt the delicate interplay between various game components, leading to a less cohesive experience. They go on to say, It's incredibly difficult to figure out a way where New Game Plus mode could be done in a way that doesn't completely break the way that the game is constructed. When talking about this, Sasko referenced Starfield, a game made by Bethesda Game Studios, and they've integrated New Game Plus into their narrative, providing a logical reason for the world of Starfield to reset. This seamless integration is something CD Projekt Red finds difficult to accomplish and replicate in Cyberpunk 2077. The quest director on the game hinted that without a similar narrative justification, implementing New Game Plus mode in Cyberpunk 2077 would not align with the game's design philosophy. Interestingly enough though, The Witcher 3, another game from CD Projekt Red, featured a traditional New Game Plus mode where players could restart the story while retaining their abilities and experience that they've gained while playing the game. This approach by the development team on The Witcher 3 did not disrupt the game's balance because it lacked any narrative connection to the game's reset. Despite this, Sasko also pointed out that Cyberpunk 2077's design is fundamentally different making such a straightforward implementation problematic for the development team. They've also acknowledged that Cyberpunk 2077 is designed to be replayed several times with multiple life paths, romance options, and character builds offering varied experience for players. This design for Cyberpunk 2077 encourages players to explore different aspects of the game through multiple playthroughs rather than through a New Game Plus mode. The game's inherent replayability is a core part of its design. CD Projekt Red aimed to provide diverse and rich experiences through each playthrough, making each journey through Night City very unique. Sasko also suggested that this variety in Cyberpunk 2077 compensates for the lack of a New Game Plus mode, offering players ample reason to return to the game multiple different times. Also, fans hoping for a New Game Plus mode in the future should definitely tamper their expectations. CD Projekt Red has announced that there is no longer a dedicated team working on Cyberpunk 2077 at this time. The developers have now shifted their focus to the sequel codenamed Project Orion and predominantly the next Witcher game. This shift in focus means that significant new features for Cyberpunk 2077, including this new game plus mode, are unlikely. As CD Projekt Red transitions its resources and development teams to newer projects, the studio aims to learn from its experiences with Cyberpunk 2077. The feedback and lessons from this game's development will undoubtedly influence their future titles. 
potentially leading to more robust feature planning from the outset. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the lack of a New Game Plus mode in Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077, one of the most infamous game launches in recent history, has reached a significant milestone. Over three and a half years after its tumultuous debut in December of 2020, CD Projekt Red has officially ceased active development on the game. Following Phantom Liberty, CD Projekt Red released patch 2.11 and 2.12, which focused on fixing some of the remaining bugs and fine-tuning the game's balance. These updates applied the final touches, ensuring a polished experience for players. With these patches, the development team addressed the last few critical issues, signaling the end of active development on Cyberpunk 2077. In its latest financial results, CD Projekt Red revealed that no developers are currently working on Cyberpunk 2077. This marks the first time in over a decade that the game has no active development team. As of February 29th, 2024, the final group of 17 members who were working on the game have now been reassigned to other projects within the company, most being moved to Project Polaris, the Witcher 4 game that's currently in development. With Cyberpunk 2077's development officially concluded, CD Projekt Red's attention has now shifted to their future projects. The studio is now focused on the sequel, codenamed Project Orion, and several new entries in the Witcher series. This strategic shift aims to build on the lessons learned from Cyberpunk 2077, and leverage the expertise developed over the past few years. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the ending of development for Cyberpunk 2077 and the future games CD Projekt Red is currently working on. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest cyberpunk news. And if you're looking for something else to watch, click one of the videos you're seeing on screen right now. I will see you there.